Hello and welcome to another update video about Sand, the Sandbox, also possibly completed a Wave 2 running flat here um, on Monday. We don't really have the confirmed breakout yet, but you can make a case for this being an A wave, overshooting B wave and the C wave to the downside. An overshooting B wave should normally not overshoot more than 1.38 of the length of wave A. So you can see here, it basically got rejected there. It did overshoot a little bit more, but it didn't sustain there. So this can easily be an overshooting B wave. It then, then came down, but in a very corrective fashion. Yeah, which means, you know, this move up looks fairly strong. For example, this is an impulse. Now I don't want to suggest that the B wave is an impulse, but obviously this is an A, B, C. So the C wave within B looked impulsive. This move down looks corrective. So it could make the case for an ending diagonal in the C wave. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've now seen a break above a trend line, so I can just add a trend line here. I think we talked about that in the previous video and you could argue that, yeah, you know, maybe the trend is shifting. Wouldn't be a surprise because we hit our trend reversal area, the 50% retracement at 58.8 cents. And uh, it would be good for this coin to now break out. But again, it's not confirmed. You know, the bounce is still too weak. So what I want to see is an impulse developing from here um, and then a corrective retracement. So what we are looking for in this third wave, if it has started, is again a five wave move. So one, two, three, four, five, something like that. And the one, two setup, yeah, which is here, the one and the two down, the wave two will be confirmation um, or at least a good level of confirmation it will give us that this um, move, the trend has shifted. Now, what would be great is just to do a retest maybe of the trend line, right? Come down in the wave two, can go to the one hour chart, see it a little bit better. And it might very well be that this wave two has started already, right? Um, and if it makes a higher low, then yeah, it, it would be it would be great and a good confirmation that the trend has shifted back to the upside. What level should it hold? As always in these one, two setups, there are um, certain levels that ideally hold. So here we're talking about 59.5 cents, a level that ideally holds to confirm that um, the trend has shifted because below 59.5 cents is getting an, a very unreliable one two setup again. Yeah, you want the 78.6 retrace typically to hold for it to be a reliable one two setup. Um, in a third wave rally, where should we go to here? Yeah, circle wave three, where should we go to? So we should go to the 1.618 extension again, wave one to the upside, wave two to the downside. 1.618 extension, 84.7 cents is an ideal target, but really only the minimum. If it works out, doesn't have to happen in a straight line, but you know, step by step, if we follow the path, it should happen. And that's sort of where we are with sand at the moment. Um, looks like it's currently holding our important support area here. And against, first of all, against 59.5, we can focus on higher. That's really the, the nano support level. Um, if we break below that level, it can still find support in the yellow box. Our um, overall trend reversal array here for circle wave two. And as long as it holds above 54.09 cents, yeah, the trend can over, or the overall focus can be on higher. All right, that's my update about sand. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.